Thank you all so much. Um, I am truly honored. Um, for those of you who know me personally, um, you know that I rarely, actually never, am at a loss for words. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of truth to that, really. Um, <clears throat> but I really did struggle mightily all day long. Uh, Jonathan Blum, who has the misfortune of being two doors down for me, can attest to that. Um, with what to say tonight. Um, you know, looking around at this room full of amazing lawyers and it's, um, you guys are amazing and it's overwhelming to be standing in front of you. Um, I'm truly humbled. Um, but being at a loss for words, um, I had to actually think about what I was gonna say. So um, you will be grateful to know I'm gonna keep this short. Um, um, I started my career well over 30 years ago, though, working at TI for a man named Dean Club. And when things got particularly difficult, he was a good old boy from West Texas, and he always came up with some colloquialism, something funny to say. And he was known for a particular phrase, and it went approximately as, the, as, as follows. When you're up to your ass in alligators, it's difficult to remember that the original objective was to drain the swamp. And for some strange reason, the practice of law, in fact, the practice of life, that phrase has stuck in my head. Um, and as I look around this room at fellow alligator fighters, um, perhaps you understand why that phrase has meant so much to me over the last 20 years or so. Um, but as I have waded into swamp after swamp, I've learned a couple of lessons that I wanted to share with you lessons that I wish I had learned at a much younger age, and maybe some that I wish I had learned, maybe not the hard way. The first lesson is that a tribe, in fact, multiple tribes, is critical to fighting alligators. And as you're looking for your tribes, you need to choose your tribe or tribes wisely. No matter what, do not try to fight alligators alone. Um, as women, I think we think that, you know, to be strong, it means you've got to do it all by yourself. That's crazy. It's totally insane. Being strong means being smart enough to ask for help. As the ever so wise and brilliant Judge Parker says, steel sharpens steel. Find people who are smarter than you and rely on them, depend on them, seek their wisdom. Do not try to do it by yourself. Um, and choose tribe members who will teach you, who will support you, who will laugh with you, who will laugh at you, who will uh, keep you humble, keep you honest, and who every now and then will smack you upside the head and say, what on earth were you thinking? And as I look around this room, a lot of you have played that role on more than one occasion. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and make sure that you've got people in your life who understand that relationships, they're a two-way street. When you look around and you find that the people that are in your life don't share, are not both givers and takers, reevaluate your tribe. That's not a relationship. I look around this room and I see so many members of the different tribes that uh, have blessed my life. My family, my friends. Um, I went back to law school at 30 with a three-year-old and a five-year-old. That was not a picnic. Um, and uh, to have my daughter here now, who's 25, almost 26, is just mind-boggling, to be honest. Um, I see my Pulsinelli colleagues, my former Aiken Gump colleagues, um, my law school classmates, um, my, D, my DWLA colleagues, um, my Act 3 colleagues, and just so many friends, it's overwhelming. And one final cautionary note um, about the tribe. If you realize that there are cannibals in your tribe, <laughs> find a new tribe. <laughs> my second lesson, attitude and perspective matter. Face it. 
the practice of law, in fact, the practice of life, can be pretty rough. Don't get me wrong, I love being an M&A lawyer. I mean, deals are fun. I actually live for it, love it. The crazier the deal, the more fun. Um, sleepless nights, the whole crazy thing, it's a blast. But juggling all that with everything else, it's tough. And I know, guys, you don't want to hear that, but it's tougher for women than it is for men. Face it, it's just the facts. <clears throat> Sick kids, that falls on us. Empty grocery, empty refrigerator, that's our problem too. I mean, trying to juggle all that, plus you gotta bring in new business, you gotta collect the bills from the clients, all of that, it's just, it's, it can be a hassle. But attitude and perspective can make all of the difference. And I heard a story a few years ago that totally shifted my perspective. And for those of you who've heard me tell this story before, please bear with me. It really was, for me, just a life-changing little story. It's the story of the carrot, the egg, and the coffee bean. Life is the proverbial pot of boiling water. Each of these objects is placed into that pot of boiling water, that boiling water of life. Each of these objects faces that same adversity, and each reacts differently. The carrot goes in strong, hard, and unrelenting. However, after being subjected to the boiling water, it softens and becomes weak and turns to mush. The egg begins fragile. Its thin outer shell has protected its liquid interior, but after sitting in that boiling water, its inside becomes hard, solid, unbending. Now the ground coffee beans they're unique. When they're in the boiling water, they change the water. In fact, they transform the water into an amazing aromatic elixir that in my personal experience makes getting out of bed in the morning manageable. <laughs> the lesson that I learned was that each day we get to choose. What are we going to be? When adversity knocks on the door, are you going to be the carrot? the egg, or the coffee bean. And I have to confess, as any of you who know me, um, I've been all three. On any given day, I've been the carrot, I've been the egg, and every now and then I've, I like to think I've been the coffee bean. But here's the really cool thing. Even if I was the carrot yesterday, or that really horrible egg, Tomorrow is a new day and a new opportunity to work with you guys, my tribe, my tribes, and to try my best yet again to be the coffee bean. Because one thing is for sure, if I know nothing else, it's that the swamp and the alligators, they're not going anywhere. And the only way we can ever, ever drain that swamp or tackle any of those alligators is together. And thank you all so much for this honor and for being part of my tribe.